What's up everybody, happy holidays. Paul the fifth here of Legacy Studios and today's video is all about this. This is the Chaotica eyeball and essentially it's just pop filter inside a foam ball. So recently I connected with a new friend of mine, Junior Padija, called him up one day. Well, here's the backstory. So on Facebook, there was the thing in early October that said, if you reach out to your favorite artist, will they reach back out to you? And Junior posted something that said, who's your favorite producer? I know he produces here in town. I said, well, I would love to meet you. And you said something about meeting someone else. So I put Junior and Tommy Prophet as the two people I wanted to meet. He reached back out to me. He's helping me film today and we got coffee. And I said, you know what? Would you guys like to help me with a video? In today's video, we're making our own version of a Chaotic Eyeball. In the beginning of the video, we looked at the website. It was like 199, it's 165 for the holidays. We're still going through a lot. Gas is expensive, we have to eat, heating bills, everything like that, other things for Christmas. So in today's video, we're showing you how to make our own Chaotic Eyeball. I've got some ingredients here, actually not ingredients, but some props. We have pop filters that I got all on Amazon. And in these boxes, I've got three different foam balls. I've got some that are gray and I've got some that are blue. Hey guys, you always know, here's something I always do in my videos. As I say, cut away from yourself. Because I had a friend of mine that worked for my dad, he's cut toward himself, cut his eyeball out. Oh yeah, got to have yourself an X-Acto knife kit to uh, cut the foam balls open with. We have a blue one. I think these are eight eight. So just to compare them real quick, about the same size as the Chaotica, and this was a company called Canon. <laughs> I'm gonna use these for my test run, just in case I make any mistakes. And then I'll have a couple more of these that I'll actually use. So that's cool because uh, this way on these, you can choose the diameter of the microphone that you want to put in. And then as well as the size of the pop filter. I believe I got a five inch, so we'll cut that out to make that fit. As you may know, I've recently moved my entire studio to my apartment here in Berry Hill in an attempt to save money so that this time next year I can have enough for a down payment on a home. I want to have a home studio here in Nashville, Tennessee. In the last couple months, I've made some videos on home studio recording, giving you some tips on better mixing, using headphones and studio emulation software. And recently I made a video on how to set up studio foam acoustic panels. In today's video, this is the star of our show. This is a Chaotica eyeball, but what the heck is it? How would you use it and why would you need it? If you're at home, that's not always the best environment for recording. Let's say you're recording in your bedroom of your parents' house and your parents knocking on your door. Let's say you have your own home as an adult and maybe your dog is barking in the other room. Let's say your studio's in the basement and your kids are running around upstairs. For me, in my apartment, on the other side of this door is a deck and I'm on the end of my complex. So there's a wooded area, there are birds, chipmunks, squirrels, other wildlife. There's a stream at the bottom there. And we had a storm last night. On the other side of the street is a school. So guess what, every day between 2.30 
2.45 and 3 p.m. School buses are leaving, parents are coming to get their kids, and on the loudspeaker, they are making announcements. So if I wanted to block out that extraneous noise, that's exactly what the Chaotica eyeball does for you. So what exactly is this made up of? This version here is the Chaotica eyeball fat boy. Take it away, Paul the fourth for some details. Black Bear Coffee from Sam and Zoe's. Thank you so much, Junior and Melody. So, Chaotica Eyeball. Why Chaotica? The Chaotica Eyeball is a studio-grade acoustic solution that fits around your microphone. It keeps harmonic structures intact, frequencies, providing vocals free of coloration or muddiness. It does so by keeping the vibrational frequency of the foam consistent throughout and equalized absorption characteristics around the microphone itself. So let's read the back of the box here. It's ultimate isolation solution for your microphone and is gaining the recognition as the number one portable vocal booth in the market. The eyeball is made from a premium custom foam which provides for ideal sound absorption. Its worldwide patented technology design offers encapsulated isolation for your microphone that creates a unidirectional sound which travels through its integrated pop filter, reducing much of the external environment and lessening the need to treat your recording space. Cool. Well, let's say you're a producer and you're on tour or you're a live sound engineer and your artist wants to record something in the back of the bus. These have been known to be used there. Sometimes these can be used outside as well. Maybe Paul the fifth will test this out here in a moment for you guys. Let me read you some more specs. The Chaotica Fat Boy fits most side address microphones with diameters between 57 millimeters and 89 millimeters, 2.25 to 3.50 inches. Frequency response. 0 hertz to 30 kilohertz, plus or minus 1.4 dB. THD 6.789%, max peak 140 decibels. TL 3.73 dB average. Record anywhere, weighing it at only 5 ounces. The Chaotic Eyeball is easy to pack and carry, making it great for travel. Back to you, Paul the Fifth. fifth, fifth. Cool, thank you so much. Here's the makeup of this foam ball. Here is our pop filter. We'll peel that out. This part here is simply a cardboard tube. This is a foam ball. Paul IV just told us the dimensions on it. The way it works, we slide this on top of your microphone, and then we want to make sure that your diaphragm is about in the center. You take your pop filter. Might have to finagle it a little bit. Put it right in there like that. Adjust this to the proper height. Then you hit that red R button and you say what you got to say into the microphone. If there are kids outside, if it is raining, if there are birds chirping and the windows open, this blocks out all of that background extraneous noise. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. Here we go. So here's what you are going to need. Definitely some Sharpies to make some marks on the foam balls foam balls you're gonna to need to get yourself some pop filters we are gonna to need to have some exacto knives to cut out the foam balls that we trace with the sharpies and moving along here you will need a tape measure to measure the size of the pop filter that needs to be marked with the sharpie that's going to be cut with the exacto knife and one other thing that you may or may not need this is up to you but some kind of crazy glue in order to glue your pop filter into this section here. And last but not least, have a little bit of know-how when it comes to measuring. And for me, exercising a lot of patience. Let's go ahead and build this. And if you might have any questions on where to get items such as these, you already know I got you. I'm gonna have a link for them in the description. So here's the Chaotica itself and it was as you can see, a really nice rounded ball, probably a CNC machine, carved everything out. Got this uh, pad that you can put in on top of your microphone and you can adjust it accordingly. Myself not being very um, crafty, Melody helped me with the measurement. So what you want to do is get your foam ball and we took a measurement of the top of the uh, microphone. It was about two inches. So we cut this a little less than that so it would fit snugly on here. And 
what we did was on pop filter, this was a six inch pop filter. So we cut on the inside of that to make it a little snug. We're gonna put this in here. One mistake that I made, I tried to cut the bottom part off. And if you can see this little part here, it's got a really sharp metal edge and I cut my finger. So don't make that mistake. So I just wanted to show you this, that that goes right in like that. And you wanna make sure that you've got your diaphragm of the microphone as close to the center as you possibly can. And then once you put the pop filter in here, it should fit snugly in there. So I've carved out a little more on the inside. I got an idea. Instead of putting this bottom part down here since it's so thin, why not let's pop this up here on the top because there's a lot thicker of an area. Let's try that. All right, here we go. We'll pop this back in here like that if I can. And we'll kind of do a couple things at the same time. Pull up on the lip and we'll push this down. And right here, I've got a little bit of a tear and a rip, but that's okay because these blue ones here, these are my controls or they're like my, my test ones, if you will. Most likely it's not gonna turn out as beautiful as the Chaotica eyeball, but you know what? You're saving money. Maybe you're able to do this with a friend and most likely you're gonna get very similar results. Okay, so that doesn't look great, but what I might do is grab my scissors and kind of trim this up a little bit, and then we'll make sure that this still fits in here, which it does, and then we'll do the same thing with that one. Two things that I'm not, a hairstylist and crafty. Things that I'm good at, drinking coffee, mixing music, I tend to break hearts a lot, I hate to say that. So, happy holidays, ladies. Ashley, if you're watching, not gonna do that. Okay, so not <laughs> quite as good as our Chaotica there, but you know what? Most likely, like I said, you're probably gonna get a very similar effect. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with this one. However, on this foam, I didn't leave much of a lip here. So I'm gonna reverse things. I'm gonna take this part here that's got the sharper piece and we're gonna put it up on the top like that. And I'll probably have to get the scissors out and cut this again here. Let's do this, we'll pop that up there. And then we'll have to kind of pull and push at the same time. This is kind of like opening a can of beans if you've got an old fashioned uh, can opener. You have to push and then you have to slide and pull all at the same time. And there goes the helicopter. All right, so not bad. It's uh, definitely not great, but let's get the scissors out and we'll trim that up a little bit. And again, I've been saying this off and on throughout this video, I am not crafty whatsoever, but I thought, you know what? Times are tough. Making a Chaotica eyeball, a do-it-yourself project around the holidays may be a fun thing to do, give you some, uh, folks to be around and in the end you've got something from nothing right that's what I'm all about just kind of like a mix you've got uh, you've got different pieces and then you put it together and in the end you've got a final product so total cost you're looking about nine dollars for your pop filter I don't remember the price on these they were cheaper but the gray ones here are about 31 32 dollars and then if you get yourself an exacto kit this was about eight bucks, but if you've got one, cool, use it. If you've got a tape measure and Sharpie, I'm sure you probably got that laying around the house. There you go. So less than 50 bucks to get yourself these materials, use what you've got laying around the house, take the time to get your measurements, make it how you want it. So that ladies and gentlemen is how you make a do-it-yourself Chaotica eyeball, getting a foam ball from Amazon, using scissors, an exacto knife kit, and putting in a pop filter in the middle. Pretty simple, right? 50 bucks, 
saves you some money, some time. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Homemade Products. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you here. I'm gonna make another video where I get a little more detailed and specific with the three gray balls. And real quick, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you learned anything today, sure would appreciate those thumbs up. You know what to do. Let's grow this thing together. Hit that subscribe button, comments down there. Sure would appreciate it. Happy holidays. My name is Paul, the fifth of Legacy Studios.